Project Zomboid has a lot of different upgrades for firearms, but often gives vague descriptions and no direct stats for them, meaning it can be confusing to know what each one does. Today we're going to go over each attachment, their advantages or disadvantages, and provide relevant demonstrations comparing upgraded versus unupgraded weapons. There are three general groups that all firearms in game can be sorted into. Pistols, rifles, and shotguns, with pistols and rifles being further split into subgroups. Most attachments can be used between at least two groups, but some are exclusive, so these icons will be used to sort what attachments can go on what guns. Before we start, it's important to note that the M36 revolver and the double barrel shotgun cannot be upgraded at all, so these will not be discussed in this video. To install an upgrade, get a screwdriver, the gun, and the attachment in your main inventory. Right-click the gun, hit upgrade, and then select the attachment. To remove the upgrade, right-click the gun again, hit remove upgrade, and select the attachment you want to remove. The red dot is the sight attachment for all handguns and all rifles. It improves aim speed by 5, allowing you to reach your maximum accuracy faster. To demonstrate, we will approach a zombie and aim one tile away. Since we move before aiming, this causes our accuracy to build up the slowest for an easier comparison. I've also slowed the footage down to 10% to compare it better. With the red dot on the right, the aiming outline starts yellow compared to the orange outline without a red dot. You can see that it reaches bright green faster than it would without the red dot. The laser is a cannon attachment for all pistols in both the M14 and M16 assault rifles. It improves the hit chance by 5, making hits more likely. As an example, using a default M9 at under 5 tiles gives us an orange outline when aiming at this zombie, showing a bad chance to hit. With a laser, this outline improves to a dark green color, giving us a better chance to hit. Iron sights are a sight attachment for all handguns and all rifles. It improves the max range of a weapon by 3 tiles. For example, the max range of a baseline M14 is only 10, so we cannot hit a target 13 tiles away. With the iron sight attached, however, we can now aim at and hit the same target. For longer range engagements, we can use the 2x, 4x, and 8x scopes, all of which are sight attachments only usable by rifles. Like the iron sights, they improve the max range of a weapon by 7, 13, or 20 tiles respectively. However, they do come with a downside by increasing the minimum range by either 6, 8, or 10 tiles respectively, meaning that any zombie moving closer than minimum distance will be basically impossible to hit. Here's a graphic to demonstrate the different effective ranges of each scope compared to baseline M14 and iron sights. The scopes are useful for either engaging players outside of their max range to return fire, or to pick off zombies at a distance. However, be sure to have a backup weapon on hand, or use iron sights for close range combat. The recoil pad is equipable on all rifles. It reduces recoil by 5, meaning that follow-up shots can be performed faster. Using the M14 as an example, here are 10 shots with and without the recoil pad side by side. As you saw, there was no noticeable difference between the two clips, so I redid the test after giving myself maximum aiming skill to see if there would be a difference. Even with level 10 aiming, there was still no noticeable difference in firing rate with the recoil pad, so I'm unsure if the attachment itself is functioning as intended or if it's actually bugged. The fiberglass stock is only equipable by the MSR-700 and MSR-788 hunting rifles. It provides two bonuses, both reducing the weight of each gun by 0.5, as well as increasing the chance to hit by 8, providing a slightly better hit chance than the Red Dots 5. The sling is usable with both hunting rifles and the JS-2000 shotgun. It provides a flat weight reduction of 0.3 and can be combined with the fiberglass stock for an overall 0.8 weight reduction on both hunting rifles. The ammo strap is usable by both hunting rifles and the JS-2000 shotgun. It reduces reloading time by 5, and to compare, let's reload 6 shells and rack a JS-2000 shotgun side by side. And we've run into the same issue we were having with the recoil pad, where there doesn't seem to be a noticeable difference with or without the ammo straps. This time I raise reloading to the maximum level and run the test again. Still no difference in the speed to reload a shotgun with or without the ammo straps, even at maximum reload level. It's possible that both the recoil pad and ammo straps are currently bugged in-game and don't actually provide any benefit, so do keep that in mind. 
There are two choke upgrades for the JS-2000 shotgun. The first one, the full choke tube, increases damage in exchange for slightly reducing the spread, meaning more damage dealt in a narrower cone of fire. By default, the JS-2000 has an effective spread of about 5 tiles wide, allowing us to hit all four zombies shown here. With the choke tube full, we only have a spread of 4 tiles and cannot hit all 4 zombies. The choke tube improved has the opposite stats to the choke tube full, providing a wider cone of fire in exchange for less damage. However, when compared to the default shotgun, the effect is not very noticeable, as most of the time zombies following you will group up no more than 5 tiles wide. The shotgun can only ever hit 4 targets at once anyway, so there is no real benefit to widening the spread in exchange for lower damage. Personally, I would either stick with a default shotgun, or kite the zombies closer together and use the full choke tube for higher damage while negating the narrower cone of fire. Anyways, that's it for this attachment guide. If you liked it, have more questions about attachments, or want to suggest another topic you're curious about in Project Zomboid, please let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, remember to aim for the head, and as always, have a nice day in the apocalypse.